at 5.30, the cargo ship that broke free from its moorings will return to Boston in just a few hours, and then divers are going to check for damage. Good evening, I'm Paula Evans. And I'm David Wade. Liam is off tonight. The question remains, though, what went wrong with this ship? WBZ's Bill Shields went to an expert to get some answers. Mass Maritime's training ship, the Kennedy, is almost 600 feet long. And at its berth, thick lines secure it to the dock. Lines at the bow, the stern, and in the middle. And the Helsinki Bridge, which broke away from the dock in South Boston Tuesday night, it was secured in much the same way as the Kennedy. But strong winds can wreak havoc, even on a massive ship. Keep in mind that, that uh, the conditions at the time, the wind was blowing with gusts up to 50 miles per hour, which uh, against the broadside of the ship is, is a lot of force for those lines to be able to withstand. Even huge ropes like these can break. This is very similar to what would have been on the Helsinki Bridge. You can sort of picture from this angle uh, the lines at the bow starting to fail and just sequentially sort of working their way down the ship. The Helsinki Bridge is 1,100 feet long and was stacked high with metal containers. It was like a giant sail in 50 mile an hour winds. The mooring lines were under tremendous strain, and uh, at, at some point, the forces that were being exerted against the ship were more than those mooring lines could withstand. The Helsinki Bridge will continue to sit out in Boston Harbor as the Coast Guard conducts its investigation, trying to determine what factors were involved in it breaking loose, including possible human error. At Mass Maritime Academy, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.